It's still mud season here in Maine. I can't get out and ride real trails, but that doesn't mean I can't work on improving my trail riding skills. As I mentioned in my video about the seven biggest lessons I learned last year, I think not looking far enough ahead is my single worst habit. It's a killer of both speed and flow. And on a recent episode of the Single Tracks podcast, I heard pro mountain biking coach Gene Hamilton say that this problem actually affects tons of riders, including very experienced ones. Lots of people just aren't aware of what they're really doing when they're on the bike. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, that was bad. That was almost real bad. Ooh, and that's what I'm talking about. About the trail vision. When it gets gnarly, I'm just looking at my tire. Oh, I'm not trying to do that, but it's a bad habit. Hard to break. After all, it's one thing to know you need to look up. We all know that. But how can you prevent yourself from zoning out? How can you be sure that in the moment you're always actually doing it? Well, I don't know for sure, but I had kind of a crazy idea that I think might help, at least with building the habit. What I feel like I need is someone constantly reminding me to look up. So I'm going to make an audio file that I can listen to while I'm writing that does exactly that. What I'm using here is Adobe Audition, but if you wanted to do this for yourself, pretty much any recording or sound editing software would probably work. Here I've got all my music on track two and a bunch of sound files I recorded that I'm going to drag into track one. These will be the things that remind me to keep my eyes up and looking forward. It's a mix of random sounds and my daughter yelling things like, Look at the trail! I'm going to use a bunch of different recordings and sounds and space them out kind of randomly so that it doesn't become predictable when you're listening to it. Humans are pretty good at identifying and tuning out predictable sound patterns. So if I were to just play the same exact sound every 15 seconds exactly, I'm worried that I'd just start to tune it out and zone out rather than having it actually serve as a reminder to keep my eyes up. In this video, I'm using royalty-free music and sound clips that I recorded personally because I need to stay on the friendly side of copyright law and YouTube's algorithm. If you're making something like this for yourself, just for personal use though, you could use any music you wanted. And you could do all kinds of other cool things, like grab sound effects from a TV show and use those as reminder noises. But if you want to use my file and get yelled at by my daughter while you're writing, I'm going to put the download link in the description of this video and you can lay that over whatever music you want. Anyway, here's what it sounds like with some background music. Look up! Eyes up! I'm making the whole file about 15 minutes long, but if you wanted to practice this habit for longer, you could always loop it or just make a longer file. Now, I've never seen this technique recommended anywhere, and I don't know if it'll be effective in the long term. Eyes front. But I can say that in some early testing, it really has been helping me keep my eyes from drifting down to my front tire. Look where you're going. Obviously, the point here is not to use this track for every ride until the end of time. It's just for temporary use to hopefully help train better habits. Now, only time will tell whether it's actually going to have a meaningful long-term impact, but it's a promising start. So if this is a problem you think you might have, I'd say this is worth considering. Stop looking at your wheel. Even if it does feel a little bit ridiculous. And hey, if it works for you, why not hit like and subscribe? I mean, where else are you going to find half-baked training ideas like this? Anyway, I'll be busy praying to the mud gods that I can actually get out and ride some dirt soon. Until next time, I hope you get a chance to get outside and ride Look up. And I'll see you next week.